up in the freezer. She just pull it out and start cooking. What is it? Oh, and that's another reason, you know, because I don't have no money, and I don't feel like when you go out, even though if he want to pay, that's fine, but I still want to have my own money in case, I, you know, you pay, I lead a tip, or let me buy you a drink, or something, you know, okay, well, you bought dinner, let's go to the bar, let's have a drink, you know, something, I want to be able to do that, and I can't, I'm not in a position to do that, so I think. I'm glad, it's funny you brought that up, because I didn't understand that a moment ago, well, last week. Last week after we got done podcast, man, that's when I have to go eat. Mm -hmm. And uh, we sitting there, we having a good time, good time. And um, the lady brought the check, and she was like, and I grabbed it. She was like, you ain't want to go half on it? I was like, no, I asked you out. <laughs> and her eyes got big. She was, and I was like, what kind of niggas you been dating? <laughs> that like, them the kind of exist. Yeah, <laughs> like I ain't know it was that bad. Like, I ain't know it was that bad. Dating for us is hard. It is hard. It is hard. And then the sad part about it is when you, when you're, I guess, ciphering through the trash. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes the good guy does get mixed in the trash, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you could throw away a good piece of meat. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. The good guy does get mixed in the trash because you're ciphering through so much bullshit. The repetition of it. Yeah. yeah. And then when he comes along, it's like, oh, you with the bullshit just like they were. So mm -hmm. I'm going to throw your ass over here in the trash too. So sometimes it does happen that way. And it's unfortunate. Not that it's right. But it's, and it's very unfortunate because you don't want them to get caught in it. You know, mm -hmm. you do want the good guy. I, I mean, that's the person that, that we are looking for. But sometimes he get caught in the riffraff. So that's that's another place I'm in is actually trying to give people a, the benefit of the doubt and give them a chance to, I want to read this message I sent to this guy, um, give them the benefit of the doubt to just say, you know, um, well, maybe you aren't like this person. So let me see until you send me something else, mm. you know, or until I see something else. Let me see if I can find him. So, this guy sends me this message that says, I'm going to read the message verbatim. I'm not going to say his name. He said, you just turned me on. I said, well, good afternoon to you too. How did I do that? Wow. He said, them lips. I said, oh, thank you. He said, and when you said you will give oral while having church bedside Baptist LOL that's why I stopped posting that stuff on my personal page and putting it in the relationship mm. so then he sends a dick pic I knew it knew it had to be soon right after the dick pic I send the emojis with the big eyes like what the fuck he probably didn't see it as that. So then he said, I had to show you. Yeah, he think you got big eyes. That's in. Wow. I that's said, amazing. Oh, okay. So then he said how he looked. See? This was my response to him. I'm a blogger. So my posts are usually pertaining to the topics discussed on my podcast. I really appreciate your kind words about my lips. And yes, I am very open about sex. But... I usually don't comment on my posts for this reason. I can only tell you how many penis pics I see on a regular basis. Although I'm single and I am in the dating process, this is not a turn on for me. I really thank you for your kind words though. His response was no doubt all good. Then he said, you just sex and know that. I said, thank you so much. I wouldn't even reply to that. Because I'm going to tell you how he read it. But no, right after that, I told him how I knew him. Because he thought I didn't know him. <sighs> that was the end of the conversation after that. Wow. See, you have to look at when you when you when you're messaging, 
it can be read totally differently, mm-hmm. especially like emojis. I understand the big eyes. You were like, what? But he read it as like, oh, she think my dick big. Right. And it wasn't. I ain't, I ain't even know that part. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, <laughs> but I mean, to me, they all look alike. Now she, I'm, they I mean, all the dime a dozen. All y'all got, shit look alike. But you got to understand, though, mm-hmm. like, when, when there's a thirsty dude, mm-hmm. he's looking for a reaction to see what's what. And the big eyes and carry on the conversation after you brought that up. Uh, as soon as he would have brought up the uh, the head on a church or whatever, mm-hmm. I would have checked out after that. Because, guys, we talk with an intent. We don't talk just to talk. Yeah. Like, we, there's a purpose They fishing. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. They fishing. But it's okay, because I'm, I'm going to get you out of my inbox. He ain't never respond no more. He ain't never comment on nothing. Good. Or nothing. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. Which they, he never comment prior to that on any of the, my relationship posts. But... So I'm fine with you not gonna coming. stop thinking this shit back page and all that. Yeah. Like, no, my nigga. Set that case, man. So I just, I don't know. You know, Nick, so I feel her on that. Like, you know, sometimes when you go on dates with these guys, they were like, well, no, give her her ticket or you get your ticket. And then me, I'm the type of person, if I have, you know, the funds to do that. I'll be like, no, nah, let me go and get his ticket to me. Because I'm going to show you. Like, my thing is, if I ask you out. I me, you, That's me. That's yeah. on me. And I was always raised with that. And it right. make, they made it make sense to me. So you're like, well, if you're asking her out, how do you know she has the money? Right. You know? You asked her out. So if you're asking her out, assume that you're paying mm-hmm. always, no matter what. You know, if she wants to pay, surprise her. Let her hold on to your money. You know, they'll remember that. Right. And then you never know. She might reciprocate it. And I told her that. I was like, one day, just, if you want to do it, just treat me out. I might be broke one day. You might want to take me out. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. And hell, she, she taking us to see Kevin Hart. <laughs> <laughs> shit. So. Hey, it worked. Shit, yeah. Flipped it out. It worked. So, that's perfect. That I mean, I like that. Because that's when, when we go to this 50-50 thing. That 50-50 day bull. Is that something? Sound like thunder. Did it's it? probably thunder. Yeah. What's that? It's supposed to storm. Is it? Mhm. Damn, Jay. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let me check again. Yeah, it's gonna start raining. <sighs> yep, it's actually from the thunderstorm. I see now from photo sticks. Mhm. It's all good though. I got you, fam. Um, I don't care about the thunder. I love thunder and oh, rain, and, oh yeah. and I'm natural, so you don't care. I don't care about no hell. Good. Good. <laughs> All right, so you want to record these? Do this. I did want to ask you about that though. That that is one topic. The last one I gave you, um, discipline their kids when, where, how to draw a line. The reason I brought that up, mm-hmm. and this this is just me talking uh, if I, I, we ain't got, I don't care I'm just talking at this point Let's talk. from genuine interest last girl I dated before now had two kids uh-huh. now her daughter amazing absolute angel didn't have a problem with her respectful and everything her son though the devil um, anytime I try to talk to her he walks his little self in there and stares at us first off two adults are talking you don't need, need to be Bye. nowhere near us right I'm, I can't say it. It's not my kid. You need to say it. Right. She sent him off. He whines. Now, her response to him whining was her cussing the kid out. Mm-mm. Sit your down. Take your... Before I beat your A. I'm like, that's a better way to do this. But I can't say anything. You know, because it's, it's not my kid. You know? And then, you know, he go over there, go crying. whoop de whoop Come back. 15 minutes later, she had like, she don't see him acting up. He'll, he'll just start... Knocking stuff down, slam the refrigerator door, hanging on it, like doing little stupid stuff to get her attention. And so I'm like, <laughs> well, I'm not dating her no more. But that, well, I'm not dating her no more is a different subject. But yeah, and I'm just like, and I didn't know how to say it. I'm like, like her daughter would do good in school or something, mm-hmm. or she she'd ask me a question. Like for instance, one time I went over there to watch a movie. She was like, Jeremy, you want some popcorn? 
And she she bring him the popcorn. She was eating and sit down and just talk to him. Just sit down and have a conversation. She a daughter would ask me how my day was. Oh. This little girl was like four years old. Oh. And so I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, shit, it was cool. You know, everything all right, everything Gucci. All right, well, you know, move on. Her son though, just bad. And I understand it's a defense mechanism. Mm-hmm. I'm not your daddy. I get that, but that's an excuse. Like, and then another, like, several situations would happen where he would put himself in danger. Like, her TV was on a mantle, like, over the fireplace, and we were putting her fire stick in and plugging it in. So she was standing on the fireplace, kind of, I'm back behind her, just in case she leaned back, I got her back. Right. He climbs the mantle, the fireplace. And starts grabbing her leg. I'm like, whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. I don't want you to pull on that and fall. And she's like, what you doing? I'm like, I don't want him to pull and fall off and hit his head. And she like rolled her eyes. I'm like, fine, if you want the little motherfucker up here, pull your leg. He slip off, bust his head, and he start bleeding everywhere. Cool. Ain't my problem. So like, when is it appropriate to step in? Like, look, I'm doing this because of this. And, and it's more a problem than not. Because a lot of people have outside kids, and a lot of these parents, I'm just being real with you, feel like, oh, they fine, but they being bad as shit. I, I think it's in your upbringing. Um, I never have a problem with adult, an adult telling my child to not do something because they're keeping you safe. You know, if if I see that it's something different, then that's a problem. You know, that that's that's different. But if you're keeping my child safe and you telling him to do something that's not right, I mean telling him to do something that's right, then I don't have a problem with that. I never had an issue with anybody I have been in a relationship with telling my son to not do nothing. Wayne has but I have a different type of kid too. That's true. Yeah. And it's it's the way that you raise your kid. I raise my son to respect adults. Mm-hmm. Now, if you feel like that they're telling you to do something wrong, and even with his dad, same thing. We we've always told him if you feel like they're telling you to do something wrong, come talk to us. Let us handle it. We've always been that parent. Do do whatever. If it's if it's something that you feel is wrong and you're not gonna do it, give us a call. If you're not with us or come get us, if you are with us and we'll take care of it, if it's that. Mm -hmm. But if it's something that an adult is telling you to do, you respect adults regardless. Exactly. So it's in the raising. And a lot of these, these, these parents allow their kids to say whatever and do whatever. Why would you want, why would you enable your kids to talk to people any kind of way and that's just gonna come back to you like man i guess i'm so strict because i used to get hemmed up for any fucking thing like no ma'am and no sir and yes ma'am no. then we're non-negotiable now even though it's a southern thing and that's what you know people are taught in the south that's fine if we taught that in the south all good but i teach my son you're gonna respect adults i don't care black white whoever asian mexican Yes, ma'am. No, sir. And you speak up when you talk. People need to be able to hear what you're saying. So I agree. I I'm teaching him to to now. You gotta open your mouth and talk. You gotta open your mouth and say what you gotta say. Get it out, cause in a minute <laughs> you finna be in the real world, baby. You gonna find out, and and That's I guess why I'm I lucky. To get a job. That's all. Just about to say I'm lucky. You wanna know how I got taught? The, the benefit of the handshake, the projecting your voice in the eye contact, mm-hmm. a mock interview. Like, my brother used to do a fake interview with me. My mom did too. And I, I didn't understand it. I, at the time, I didn't get it. Mm-hmm. But I do now. Mm-hmm. You could learn so much by someone's handshake. Yep. Like, it's, I can tell if you're disingenuous. I can tell you. Yep. The benefit of that conversation, I didn't get it. But to this day, if I meet someone and they loosely, because I, I will firmly shake your hand. Mm-hmm. If you give me any kind of loose, I'm like, I don't like you. Mm-hmm. I, I, mm-mm, nope. Because mm-hmm. I feel like 
that's how a man approaches a man. Right. That's how you approach somebody respectfully. Right. When I talk to somebody, I make it a habit of looking them in the eyes to establish a connection and to show that you're being genuine. Like, absolutely. Eye contact is very it's important. Everything. It is absolutely it everything. It is very important. But the, the sad part is, see, we were taught that. The sad part about it now with these kids and this generation that's coming mm-hmm. along now, they're not being taught that. And that's so unfortunate. They miss out on so much. And it, it goes, it can even go back to simple stuff. We were taught phonics in school. Mm. And and now you can see the difference. When I when I make these, these posts on Facebook about want and want, two different words, two different meanings. Oh, my two, God. Two and two. And, uh, oh yeah, you two see and it. two, there and there, there, mm-hmm. there and there. They are. It's it's so many different. No and no now too. Yeah. Oh my god, N O and K N O W are two different words. They're two different words, and it get it, it aggravates the hell out of me. But then I have to step back and say, some of these kids are being t- were being taught sight words. And I remember the first time Wayne came Wayne, when Wayne first started school, and they came, Wayne came home from just four with some damn sight words, and I'm like, "What the fuck are sight words?" You went to just four and five too. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> but because he learned sight words in the in daycare, pre K daycare, mm-hmm. um, so in daycare I expect sight words yeah. so when he came home and they was like he got to learn 100 sight words by the end of the month and i'm like now you might have to i'm a little dumb i'm not used to these new terminologies sight actually. words yeah I don't. you know how we learn phonics um yeah. they don't teach them phonics they teach them to identify the word by saying okay god god g-o-d is god that that's sight words it's so it's just you First, looking at the word. You look at the word. You say the word, and you look at the word again, and look at the letters and say the word. So they don't do the say thing the where like um. You don't sound it out. What? That's phonics. They don't teach phonics. And I hate that because everybody may not pronounce first. They might, let's just say first. Everybody may not say first. They might say fierce. You know what? You're absolutely right. We were talking phonics. Because I remember the letters of, not letters. Yeah, they they had, they would show, they would give each letter and then give a picture Mm -hmm. and what, like, give a kind of an onomatopoeia of Mm -hmm. what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, I remember P in particular. They had a picture of a, a guy flying like a plane. He was eating a honeycomb. Mm-hmm. And it was like P. And it was like he's spitting out uh, seeds. So that's what it sounded like when he's spitting out. Like, P. Mm-hmm. P. P. And that's how we got. Wow. So that was phonics. That's we phonics. And, and just like, okay, so like yeah. my name is phonetically spelled. Okay. Right? It's mm-hmm. phonetically spelled. If you look at my name, you should be able to pronounce my name because it's phonetically spelled. People cannot look at my name and pronounce it because A makes so many different sounds. It's true. Ah, true. A, eh. eh. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They don't know that. Ah, uh, it makes the ah uh sound. Because in my name, it's my name is Tondekila. Mm-hmm. And when they see that E with the accent mark, Tonde. Yeah. It's not day. It's not Tonde. Kila. Yeah. And we also learned that depending on what letter is next to it might affect the way it sounds. And, and where the accent mark is on oh, it. So they don't do that. They don't do that anymore. What the fuck? No, they teach them sight words. No wonder our schools are failing, dude. Yep. And we're so far behind so many other districts in so many other states. Wow. They're not teaching it. That's just like the new way that they're teaching math. Oh, well, I'd stay away from that. I saw that and I, I don't. I saw some. It's so dumb. Mm. My thing is, we use them damn popsicle sticks. We use uh, buttons. Yep, we buttons, use play coins. play coins. Whatever we use, it taught us math. Basic math. Which prepared us for the next level. 
which prepared us for the next level. So you telling me, I don't even, I can't even explain how they do it now. So Wayne be like, mom, I need some help in math. Okay, well, we gonna find your tutor, baby, because your mama can, I can't explain that to you. Because I don't understand it. And how do you expect the parents to teach them? Well, we ain't, we ain't been taught that common core math. I don't even know what that is. 